Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video, I'm sitting in a 2012 Ford Mustang and I will show you how to enter the hidden service test mode, actually engineering test mode. This video will apply to fifth generation of Ford Mustangs made from 2010 all the way up to 2014. If this video was helpful, please consider supporting the channel by liking the video, subscribing to the channel or becoming a channel member. Now the first thing you will do, you will insert the key into the ignition lock, but do not turn it. Once that is done, then you will press and keep holding the reset button. Now some models will have it down here on the headlight switch and some models will have it here uh, on the steering wheel. So you want to press it and keep holding it and that will display the odometer here. Now keep holding it and while holding it you will uh, turn the key to the um, ACC mode. So turn it twice. I try to place my phone so you can see here because I have to use both of my hands. Now turn the key to the ACC and keep holding that reset button. Now you will get engineering test mode. Now, now release the button and you are in the mode. Now to scroll through the mode options, keep pressing the reset button. There is a bunch of things you can do here, like like over 20 tests and uh, you can see serial numbers and there is a bunch of interesting interesting things. Okay, I'm going through the options now. You can see everything that's that's here. And one of the most interesting things, you can get a digital uh, speedometer, right? So if you leave it in this mode and go driving, you can see your vehicle speed displayed here as well. There's really lots of lots of settings, lots of things to see, which can quite often actually help you to diagnose the problem. That's why it's called the engineering mode, right? You can see lots of information that usually you would need like uh, high-end scanner to see, but you can see them for free if you just enter this mode, right? Coolant temperature, um, yeah. Lots of things. And now to, you can play with this if you want, just be careful, don't mess up something with your vehicle, right? I don't have really too much knowledge about all of these options. I just use this mode to see the digital speedometer. Anyways, to exit the mode, you want to uh, remove the key from the ignition lock and make sure to open the door as well to reset everything before you start the vehicle, right? And yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.